people with untreated serious mental illness are 16 times more likely to encounter law enforcement than other civilians. And people with mental illness are four times more likely to be killed by police. That's according to a 2015 report by the Treatment Advocacy Center. The report found that the problem comes from a lack of police training as well as a lack of treatment for people with serious mental illnesses. Because in many cases, people who are suffering go undiagnosed or untreated until their behavior attracts the attention of police. Almost 8 million Americans suffer from a serious mental illness that distorts their thinking, like schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. On any given day, half of those patients aren't taking medications or receiving other treatment for their mental health. The reasons vary, but are usually due to communication breakdown. People who suffer from paranoia often panic when confronted by police. People who hear voices might not understand a police officer's commands to stop, or to drop a weapon, or put their hands up. Law enforcement officers usually aren't educated on specifics of mental illnesses and how to communicate with people who suffer from a disorder like schizophrenia. In October of 2016, someone in the Bronx reported a woman who was carrying scissors and behaving irrationally. When police arrived, they found 66-year-old Deborah Danner in her apartment holding a pair of scissors. An officer persuaded her to put down the potential weapon, but then she grabbed a baseball bat and swung it toward the officers. She was shot and killed at the scene. Danner was schizophrenic and her story is like many others. But in some cases, the cause of death isn't from a lethal weapon. 29-year-old Washington resident Alex Dole died during a fight with six police officers in March of 2017. He had been diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia a decade earlier. Police were responding to a call from Alex's mother, who had reported an assault and wanted them to take Alex to a hospital. Details of exactly what happened in the altercation are unclear, but investigators say Alex was shocked with a taser, became unresponsive, and an hour of CPR couldn't revive him. These incidents add to the conversation about how police interact with people living with mental illness and shines a light on what some believe to be the biggest problem faced by American police. They just don't have the training to deal with the mentally ill.